Adams Elementary today, we are doing our entrepreneurship program. So all of our fifth graders um, and business teams have created a business plan and then they sell their good or their service um, to our school-wide school. You want that one? Oh, thank you. Don't take it. Take it. Oh my gosh, bro. Uh, these little kids. Today we are doing a school store. We have one every year and fifth grade gets to make their own little like product and they get to sell it. Pre-K through tw um, second grade get to use tickets and everything above gets to use our special money, Adams Bucks. Our Adams Bucks is our monetary system we set school-wide. So we have a primary which is pre-K through second and then we have our intermediate. And um, if, it, for example, if a student um, brings back their homework, they can earn an additional $2 um, a day. Um, if they bring back their Tuesday folder, they can earn an additional $2 so it adds up throughout the week. At Adams, one thing we do stress to students is, is that um, one Adams Bucks is not the same as a real $1 bill or a real currency. Um, but one of the things that we want them to know is the skills to work for money and what it means to go to actually use your money. This is your opportunity to take all of your Adams stuff that you have worked really hard for that you purchased tickets with and to shop. So have a great time, okay? And this is kind of what they work for as their incentive. Um, and so our fifth graders, when they put together their business plans, they have to really think about what they think our students would enjoy. So whether it be teaching basketball lessons or being part of a raffle or making magnets for their lockers, um, it really, really motivates the children to save their money also. Our group decided to make magnets because we thought that magnets would be a fun and creative thing to do. This is a star with a happy face and googly eyes. Um, one of the ones that we did, that we sold earlier, was a monster. It had blue cotton balls around it and two googly eyes. We did a drawing and bracelet. I have a drawing. I drew this. It was originally me and my best friend's idea to do it and uh, we got everyone to do it and someone else had the idea to do, hey why don't we do a bracelet with this too. And so we all like, yeah, let's do that. Basically, they're learning how to put together an entire business. They write a business plan. They create a patent. Um, they have to pay for their business location, which is in our gym. Um, and they have to buy all of their supplies. So really, they're learning about how this is their job and um, the hard work that goes into a job. And it's, it's kind of funny because some of them are like, um, Ms. Burks, are we able to even just sit? I try to tell them, you know, bring customers in or what, what can you use in order to attract kids to come to your business. And so that's why a lot of them are kind of like saying, come over here, come shop here and whatnot. So they're learning basically how to be successful business owners, but also the hard work that goes into earning money. It taught me a lot how like, how to deal with money and how to like work with everyone else, like your, your friends if they're in your group. It taught me how to like work with them and like be nice to everyone and like don't be a grouch to people. <laughs> we got to learn about money and how to use it and we got to be creative. My overall objective of this is just even school wide is for kids to understand the concept of spending and saving and earning because I and I want kids to also know the importance of money and how being successful with your money or how to earn your money successfully, um, how that can help them in life, just that simple skill.